Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So this session is continuation with the previous one. The previous session I have explained the concept of thrashing that is the and also the causes for thrashing. So this session will have methods to overcome that problem. Which problem? Thrashing problem. So students who are watching this session are first informed to watch the previous session then it is easy for them to understand this particular um, concept. Now let us see which are the different methods to overcome a problem which problem the thrashing problem so first there are actually there are two main solutions here one is called as the working set model and the other one is called as the page fault frequency the working set model is also called as locality model of process execution so you can remember with this word also this term also locality model of process execution This is also working set model of process execution. Now what exactly is this? So what is that you are trying to understand here? A solution to overcome the uh, problem or to solve the thrashing problem. So thrashing is a high paging activity. And what exactly we learned from the previous uh, thrashing is finally the conclusion is what the processes are having shortage of frames. Because they are having shortage of frames, it is resulting very frequently the uh, page fault. Now, in very simpler words, what we feel is, yes, let us allocate more number of frames to each of the processes so that the processes will not suffer from page fault. But can we give as many frames as a process needs because we have a limited size, okay, the main memory is of limited size, there are many processes that are getting executed, then you have to decide definitely by some mechanism at least what can be the minimum number of frames that can be allotted to a process so that it will not result in page fault frequently. For that only this is the method. First one we are using the working set model method wherein we will see how to decide whether to allocate more number of frames to a process or not. So very simple the uh, procedure is like this see a process is getting executed and you know that when a process is getting executed already you have learned the number of pages uh, sorry the pages that are needed for execution in a sequence is given and that we call it as a reference string. So the given is what a reference string. This reference string I have just noted down as it is from uh, the textbook operating system principles by Galvin. So this is the reference string that is given by the author the same thing I am using here. So what we have to do is we have to come out with a value for working set. Working set in simpler words is what set of active pages. This way you can remember working set is nothing but set of active pages of a process. Set of active pages and this working set is always denoted by a symbol called as del. Right? You have to make use of this symbol and what is the procedure first I have written here. A reference string then you need to examine what the pages at different times here at time t1 at time t2 at time t3 so this way you can examine but for that we need to decide how many pages to be examined for that only we have to set the value for del now in this case let us set the value for the working set window to be 10 if I am taking 10 and I am examining the 10, uh, 10 pages at time t1 so time t1 is here at time t1 I need to examine the set of pages. So if this is the reference string you try to see the previous 10 pages that were used by the process. So look here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now out of these 10 pages, out of these 10 which are the unique pages that you note down that becomes your working set. So working set is equal to here you can write down in angular or flower brackets uniquely appearing is what 2, 6, 1, 5, Okay, then 7 is appearing also only once you have to write down 5 and 1, 5 is already there, 1 is already there. So how many 5 pages are there? In this working set 5 pages are there. In the same manner if we try to examine at time t2, time t2 you can see it is pointing here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up till here you have to do. Okay, 10 pages because we have set the value for del as how much? 10. Now in this how many active pages are there? So the working set for this is uh, 3, 4, 4, 4, okay only 2 pages are there, 3, 4. So this becomes your working set 2, this becomes your at working set 1. Now what is the conclusion by this what we have understood is though there were 10 pages but 
what are the unique pages that are there five pages so five frames are sufficient just by looking at the number of pages the system should not allocate the frames oh 10 uh, pages are there shall we allocate 10 frames then what will happen the other processes will have shortage of frames for that reason only if you examine the value for del here you have noticed that only five pages are need five frames are required for this window the another window require what two so if you see 10 plus 10 20 20 put together is how much here only 5 plus 2 7 frames are sufficient to handle 20 pages so that way what you have to do is you have to sum this values now we have taken only at two different times t1 and t2 suppose if it is t3 t4 that way you need to add up all those then finally write the sum here summation of working set of what process i this si denotes working set of process pi if it is process p1 it is for p1 only now in this case what you have done is you have calculated the values here 7 uh, that is how much 5 plus 2 7 then that total value whatever you get that becomes what the demand for the frames definitely because now this process is in demand for only 7 frames that becomes the demand now that demand you have to check with what the total number of frames available in the system how many frames are available that we are denoting it with the letter m demand for frames for a process is denoted with us letter d whereas m denotes the number of frames available in the system then you try to see whether you can meet the demand whether the demand is greater than m if it is greater than m what will happen thrashing will occurs because the frames are only 10 the demand is 20 let us assume this example the frames are only 10 okay but the demand is uh, sorry the frame the demand is 20 and the frames available in the system are 10 then in this case what will happen thrashing will occur so what is the solution finally the system has to suspend a process suspend any one of the process so this is very important this sentence finally you are writing the solution no suspend any one of the process then once again it is checking the value for the demand if the demand is still greater than the uh, available number of frames then suspend another process also so as and when a system suspends a process the frames that are allocated to that suspended process becomes available for other process to complete their execution so this is the method that is used here in deciding what or in reducing or in overcoming the problem of thrashing so we call that method as working set model now i am using the word locality let me explain you because i wanted to tell you this locality in the very beginning only i forgot here i have written locality model of a process execution when we say we are examining the set of pages okay that means those pages belong to a locality now what is locality suppose if you have a program definitely a program will have different segments okay program will have different segment there will be one main program then you will be in the main you will be calling one function okay function one then you will have some statements you will call function two you will have statements you will call once again function one you will it will have some statements this way your program is consisting of whenever a program is getting executed it moves from one locality to another locality that means it was just in the main segment then once it faces encounters this or once it comes across this function one it has entered what whatever are the instructions that are there for function one okay those instructions will get executed if those instructions of function one are getting executed the pages that are belonging to function one are active now so once again it comes to function two so it has moved from one uh, this locality to another locality now it is executing what the instructions that are present in under the function two once you say function 2 you are telling set of active pages that are there so that is why we also tell this model as locality model of process execution and because during the entire execution it moves from one locality to another locality it depends on the del value del value too small if del value is too small what is the result it is going it is trying to what cover only uh, not even one entire locality it will not even cover the entire locality if del value is small if del value is too large it will try to cover several localities if del value is infinity it will cover the entire program so this way this is the problem with the working set model okay it depends on the del value the other method is called as the page fault frequency method 
So the second method which is called as the page fault frequency, it is very simple, you just remember this graph. So here to whether to give more number of frames or to give less number of frames is completely decided based on the values you get here. First the system is going to set some value okay, for the upper bound on the page fault. Upper bound value is set on the page fault rate, lower bound value is set on the page fault rate. Then whatever is the whatever are the values you get here when you plot for a process the page fault rate versus number of frames you check here if the value falls above the upper bound value okay then you are going to what increase the number of frames to that process when do you increase when you see the page fault rate is above the upper bound increase the number of frames suppose if the page fault rate falls below the lower bound value then the system will decrease the number of frames to number of frames for that process hope it is visible to you yes so this is what you need to know the different solutions to overcome the problem of thrashing so in the previous session i have told you what exactly is thrashing and what are the causes for thrashing and in this session i have explained the different or the two major methods to solve what the thrashing this is all about the different solutions that are there to overcome the problem of thrashing hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care